Hey everybody, Ken Surfs here. Uh, happy Tuesday, Tuesday night actually. Uh, we're in the shave den. I hope your day's been better than mine. I had a touch of food poison, so I had to take uh, had to take the day off work. Uh, let's say it was a rough night last night, but uh, I'm feeling better now, and I'm in desperate need of a shave. So today I'm going to be trying a product that, as of today, I do not believe has been released yet by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements and it's Doppelganger Plum. And this is kind of a, uh, a scent that I say you would wear to go out. Yeah, go out on a date, go out, go out to a club, a very fresh scent. And here are the notes. We got cinnamon, saffron, Japanese plum, plum blossom, uh, what is it? Camellia, cypress, uh, smoky oud, amber fir, vanilla. I've got the whole uh, note note uh, pattern in the description of this video. So I'm going to be using a Henson razor today. And since I've got a pretty good amount of growth here, I am going to be using a feather blade. Feather blade in there. I've not used, I have not used a feather in the Henson razor yet. So uh, hopefully I don't nick myself all up, but we're gonna give it a try and try it out. I'm gonna be using a Wolf Whiskers brush today, synthetic. I've used this before. Let me put that into the crystal skull. It's been hot today. I've been spending most of the day in bed recovering stomach flu, uh, but Slept all day, so <laughs> have to get up and do something productive. All right. Uh, we're going to try out this new product for the first time today. Okay, very good. I think we've got everything. Uh, using the Wolf Whiskers, the Hansen, the uh, Doppelganger Plum. We're ready to rock. Have you guys had a good week? It's got to have been better than my, uh, at least yesterday. At least my Monday evening was terrible. So hopefully yours went a little easier. All right. And I've got a bit of a, a scar here. It's uh, some stuff that got burned off at the dermatologist. I'm gonna go kind of easy around that. I don't wanna open up that wound. Very good. Let's get the shave started. All right. We're gonna probably see a lot of the wet tuber, wet shavers on YouTube uh, showing this product because uh, it is coming out soon. Oh man, definitely smells like a Tom Ford product, oink, that's no longer in production. Let's just say it smells expensive. Lathers like a beauty. But then again, all CK6 lather, excellent in my opinion. Here we go. Oh God, I slept under the AC most of the day. It, uh, it's been hot out here in Southern California. We've got a few minor fires going on. Maybe they're major now, I've been out of it. All right. First of all, let me get that lip area out of the way. I don't wanna cut, open that wound up. I'm gonna call it a day there. Very good. Well, the feather feels quite nice in this. I always speak too soon though. Don't wanna to speak too soon with a feather. You can master the feather blade. It's pretty awesome. But if you can't master it, it's pretty bloody. There we go. Well, I made a good call. Someone had said, how does the uh, 
the electric Gillette heated Gillette razor handle on a thicker beard. And I was going to try this today, but that head's pretty big and I thought I was going to open up that wound. So I opted for the Henson because I have not used a, I have not used a feather in the Henson yet. but it's cutting it right through. And I found the Henson to be a very forgiving DE razor. That's what I pretty much thought it would handle the uh, feather blade quite easily. a spot. And what I did miss, I'll pick up on pass number two. Looks okay to me, but I'm leaving that alone. All right. Pass two. You guys gonna go see Oppenheimer this week? I'm kind of roughly familiar with, you know, the design of the bomb and World War II history, but uh, it sure does look interesting. Might go with my brother and see that this Friday. My wife and daughter are gonna go see Barbie, so I'll go see Oppenheimer. There's a movie uh, that was out on the theater for a short while, and it's on Prime. Actually, I bought it called Sisu, S-I-S-U. And it uh, takes place in Finland in the last days of World War II. And it's it's a lot like Inglorious Bastards. So if you want to see some graphic, graphic Nazi killing, oh man, that movie is crazy. Sisu. I watched that the other night with my father-in-law. And he liked it. All right, let's just do the top. Okay. You cut your lip, it takes a long time to heal. Uh, you cut it with a feather, it might take twice as long. <laughs> Man, the scent of this is very good. Phoenix Artisan Created, wife approved. She liked it too. And it's a unisex scent, they said. So good for both guys and gals. I don't know if the Tom Ford was originally a unisex scent. I'm not sure. I just goof. I got to talking and I goofed. I goofed. I won't look until edit, but I think I went the same way. Let's try. There we go. I'm still out of it. I'm operating on a bowl of soup. Did two of the same passes. I think I did correct there. Right, down, across, okay. I'm out of it, forgive me. <laughs> Food poisoning sucks. Like I said, it was out of the stomach flu, but you know. <sighs> Very nice smell. Good. Didn't open that wound, left a few whiskers around it. Got my dry skin peeling off. Man, the feather really takes off the skin, doesn't it? I think I've used two feathers now in a, in a, in a week. And I inhaled the, uh, be smelling it so strong all day now. All right. 
here we go. They sell the shirts on the site, but I, as of today, I did not see this available on the site, which means it's probably this week. But yeah, man, expensive, fresh scent. Smells expensive, smells fresh. Something you could use to go out on a date on a club night. Something to think about. Good burn. Got my lip right there. Glad I didn't get the healing part. Very good. Well, you saw the growth. It knocked that down right away. I don't know if the Gillette would have done that. Might have to save that for an upcoming video. Let it grow a little stronger and see how that cartridge does. You guys are using those heated Gillette blades. Do they do good on a thick, thick beard? Let me know in the comments. I'd appreciate it. All right, everybody. Well, there you go. You knocked another one out of the park, Doug. Home run, buddy. Home run. And I like this scent very much. You know, my opinion, it's a little bit better than maybe the last one I did from you guys. But this, I mean, the other one's good, but this is definitely a keeper. All right, you guys, have a good one. We'll see you next time.